Hey guys, it's Comfcalibur Studios here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at what rides are currently permitted by the state of New Jersey to operate at Six Flags Great Adventure. I'm sure we're all excited for opening day coming up and on this PDF I have pulled up here, this is from the actual state of New Jersey website, the government website. Every year the parks need to get their rides approved by the state to run and this PDF shows every single ride in the whole state of New Jersey that has been approved so far. This document is currently dated Monday, March 20th, 2023. This is the most recent PDF I could find, unless there have been updates to it. But in this video, I'm going to read through what rides of Six Flags Great Adventures have actually been approved by the state of New Jersey to operate for this season. And I just want to make sure everybody keeps in mind that just because I'm saying a ride, that doesn't necessarily mean it will be open on opening day. You'll see a ride like Log Flume, which as far as I know, that should not be open on opening day since it usually opens later in the season. So just keep that in mind as we go through this. And also remember, last year... El Toro was approved like the day before the park opened. Of course, I'm not saying that'll be the case for El Toro this year. I don't think El Toro is going to be open on opening day this year. But there are some rides that I'm sure many will be a little upset to not see on here yet. Just keep in mind that sometimes this really does go down to the wire and it could be approved the day before. So just keep that in mind as I go through. But we're going to start from the top and work our way to the bottom. And also something to note, not all of the rides names are their actual names at the park. A lot of them just use the ride model name as opposed to the actual ride name, so I'll make sure to keep note of that as we go through. So first up, we have Teacups, which of course has the same name, Log Flume, Carousel, Big Wheel, Roundup, which is Swashbuckler, Buccaneer, Parachute, which is interesting because as we know, Parachutes were pseudo-announced to be closing permanently at Six Flags Great Adventure, so is it possible that that's not the case? I don't know. It's definitely possible, and I've heard rumors that maybe someone just mistakenly took the ride off the website and mistakenly reposted a reel on Instagram that was upset about the closure of the classic attraction. It's very possible that someone just had a miscommunication and the ride isn't actually closing. I'm not saying that's true or false. I'm just pointing out the facts here, and the fact is that parachutes are approved for operation in 2023 by the state of New Jersey. So definitely keep an eye on that. It's very possible that parachutes may just be open. I mean, according to this, they're allowed to be open. So I guess we'll see what happens there. It's also possible maybe that it was approved, but then they decided to close it after the fact. That's also possibly unlikely, but this is an odd situation and truly I don't know too much about it. So just keep an eye on the parachutes as we approach the opening day. You then have Ladybug, that's one of the kitty attractions. Kitty Scrambler, another kitty attraction. Top Spin, which is Twister, the rare Huss Top Spin on the boardwalk. Go Kart Track, which is Great American Road Race. Madhouse, which is Houdini's. Lolly Swing, which is Taz Twister, which has now been rethemed to Storm Chaser. We have Regatta, which is Jolly Roger, which is that small Himalaya type attraction near Skull Mountain. We then have Family Coaster, which as far as I know is Little Devil Coaster, judging off the fact that the manufacturer listed here is Zamperla. Little Devil Coaster is a Zamperla Family Gravity Coaster. Mini Teacups, another small attraction. Sky Zuma, which is another kid attraction. Blackbeard's Lost Treasure Train, which for those of you who don't know, that's actually now Harley Quinn Crazy Train, it used to be called Blackbeard's Lost Treasure Train. You can also see that the manufacturer listed is Zero, which lines up with Harley Quinn being Zero. Superman, which of course is Superman Ultimate Flight. Ladder Climb. Kitty Jumbo Ride, which I believe would be Flying Dumbo or whatever it's called. Truly, I don't remember what the ride's actually called. They'll have it on screen now. But that ride. Samba Tower, which I assume is another kid attraction. Mini Ferris Wheel, which I believe is the mini Ferris Wheel that's located in Bugs Bunny National Park. Red Baron, which is the Ranger Pilots in Bugs Bunny National Park. Mini Himalaya, I believe that's the Roadrunner Himalaya inside of Bugs Bunny National Park. Kitty Stagecoach, I believe that's the Foghorn Leghorn train attraction that's also in Bugs Bunny National Park. Telecombat, which is Air Safari, I think we all know what that is. Slingshot which is, of course, Slingshot on the Boardwalk. That's one of the upcharge attractions. And it's very good to see this on here. As like I said, I wasn't 100% sure if the upcharge attractions would be open on opening day, but we saw the Great American Road Race prior to this, and now we see Slingshot. So it's looking like they're going to have them open on opening day, and they will also, of course, be open during Scream Break, which is going to be really cool. As far as I know, with Scream Break, 
your admission into Screen Break includes the upcharge attractions. You don't have to pay extra for the upcharge attractions, as far as I know. So that's also really cool. Next up, we have Starflyer, which is Skyscreamer from Fun Time. That is actually the ride's model name, Starflyer. We have Scrambler, which as far as I know should be Deja Vu, which is the Scrambler over before Movie Town. We have Bumper Cars, and this should be Fender Benders, as we can see the manufacturer is listed as Burzachan. Dark Knight, which of course is the mock Wild Mouse that's indoor, Dark Knight Coaster. We have Manor Trail, which lines up with what we know for Scream Break, as Manor and the trail next to it will be open during Scream Break and the trail next to it, Total Darkness, that's what it's listed as on here. Of course, now we know it as Fears, but it used to be called Total Darkness, and like I said, a lot of the names in here aren't always necessarily up to date. Some of them are the model name, some of them are just old names of the original attraction, and it used to be called Total Darkness, so I guess they just never decided to change it. These are two of the only attractions, or some of the only attractions, listed as Six Flags, because most of the attractions at the park are not manufactured by Six Flags and the Haunted Mazes are some of the only ones that are actually manufactured by Six Flags or Great Adventure. Next up, we have Zoominjaro, which has me very excited. This tells me that as long as there's no issues with wind or anything, Zoominjaro should definitely be good to go on opening day, which is really, really great. I'm very excited for that. One of my favorite attractions of the whole park. Big Top Terror, which is another Haunted Maze. I find it interesting that they have this, and you'll see another maze a little later on. I find it interesting that they have this approved already since Fright Fest doesn't start until September and Big Top Terror, as far as I know, is not included in Screen Break. Next up we have 4D Free Spin, which of course is the Joker. Skyride A, which I would assume covers one half of the Skyride because there are two separate cable setups for when the park gets really busy. So maybe only one side of the Skyride has been approved because I didn't see the other side on here, but I'm not exactly sure how they classify this. Next we have Roaring Rapids, which of course is Congo Rapids. I like Log Flume, I don't think it'll be open on opening day because they usually don't do that, but it is approved, ready to go. Next we have Kitty Carousel, which should be the small carousel that's in Bugs Bunny National Park. Then we have Jumpin' Joey, which I don't think that's its name anymore, but it's in Junior Thrill Seekers. We have Justice League Battle for Metropolis, which of course is the shooting dark ride over in Metropolis. Cyborg Cyberspin, which is Justice League's neighbor. It's a ride that tends to have a lot of downtime, but I think they're trying to get it so that it has less and less downtime, which is really great to see, especially since it's approved to operate for 2023. Next we have the Mirror Maze. Now the Mirror Maze isn't always the Haunted Mirror Maze. They change it depending on the season for different themes, like they do the Holiday Craze Mirror Maze. So maybe they're going to do something a little different with it this year and have it open throughout the whole year, or maybe they're just getting a head start and getting it approved early. Next, we have Wonder Woman, which of course is Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth, the giant Discovery, and finally, Jersey Devil Coaster, which is the RMC Raptor. So that's it for what we see on here right now. Of course, there are a few rides, notable rides that are missing, like Green Lantern I don't see on here, Nitro I don't see on here, Batman, and King the Ka. Like I said, Rides typically are approved at the last minute. They can be approved at the last minute. So just because you don't see them on here yet does not necessarily mean they won't be open on opening day. But the rides you see here are definitely ready to go. They may not be open on opening day, but they are approved for operation in 2023. And as we get closer and closer to opening day, if I see some additions to this list, I'll be sure to make an update video to let you guys know what rides were added to the list of permitted rides by owners for operation in 2023. But that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this quick update, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, stay tuned for opening day content coming in a little under a week now. I'm Colin from Hollywood Studios, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.